Well, keep in mind we have months of human trials to go through before we know if this truly is a cure. However, Dr. Glandel and his team are very optimistic. We are happy to announce that we have completed the engineering and we have some very potent antibodies that can be effective against the virus. Dr. Jacob Glanville of Distributed Bio says his team found out Saturday morning. Because that means you have come up with the antibody that can fight COVID-19? Yeah, that's right. So we took a series of five antibodies from around 2002 that were able to neutralize SARS. We are able to use a technology in our laboratory to evolve those antibodies against SARS to adapt them to now recognize the new COVID-19. and. We tried with five different antibodies because we weren't sure which one would work the best. All five work, so we have a, a pretty powerful tool chest um, available to us right now to produce a final therapeutic. He says they're now sending the antibodies to the military for confirmation testing and working with two different companies that will help them scale up large batches of the antibody for production. Human trials could begin this summer. And antibodies are very safe because they're human antibodies, so when you inject them into a person, your own body just kind of thinks you made them, so it ignores them in most cases, but you still check. Would the drug be um, like a like a shot? Is it like a pill, do you think, or are we too far away from even knowing? We think we're going to be able to deliver it as a shot. We've been uh, deliberately trying to engineer extremely potent antibodies because if they're potent, you need less material, and then you can just give it as an injection. Will you be doing the trials then on patients here in in, in the United States that are already sick? Is that what we can expect this summer? Yeah, so this is a conversation we're having with the uh, U.S. government on exactly where that, that study is being done. We want to make sure that when we're ready to release this, that we're able to release it to the entire world. If all goes well with the trials, a drug to treat COVID-19 could be ready this fall. How excited were you when you guys realized all this hard work, all this 24-hour a day work you guys have been putting in really paid off? I have a remarkable team, and I think uh, they, they just it really kind of blows me away the endless amount of time that they were willing to invest in this. Now, besides potentially curing patients, Dr. Glanville says uh, this drug, if it is developed, could uh, potentially be given to doctors and nurses as well to protect them from the uh, virus. Now, he goes into great detail about this in the full interview. We're going to have that full interview for you up on our website at CBS8.com. Carlo. Kelly, this is exciting stuff. We're, we're not talking about a vaccine, which we know there's a lot of work on already. This is an actual cure. So what's the next step here? Yeah, the way he described it is it's like an antibiotic. So right now uh, he's in talks with the government. Uh, he has meetings set up with uh, the military as well as the federal government this week. And they're going to be kind of pinpointing a, a date when to start these human trials, uh, exactly where they're going to be held and who is going to pay for them because uh, he told me today uh, they're very expensive. All right, Kelly Hessel reporting something to hope for. Thanks a lot.